Hey guys, um, it's DJ. Obviously, you know that because it's my channel. But uh, yeah. So inside my tent is a guest, or not inside my tent, but um, on the I guess rain fly. There we go. Is a I don't know if it's a baby or not, but it's a praying mantis. I don't know if you can see that. Here, I think you can see it. Let me try turning the light on the... There we go, that's better. <laughs> that's pretty cool. I just happened to look up and there it was. Um... But yeah, so, so far, there's all kind of bugs on the outside. Uh, that, like, in between the rain fly and the tent. But none in here, which is great. Um, I, don't, I don't have anything out here with me besides what I'm using tonight. Which is my wife's yoga pad. Um, a little speaker for listening to music and a bottle of tea and my flashlight and phone. Um, I gotta get a mat because I sleep on my side and this this little thin mat, this yoga mat, it, it doesn't do nothing. <laughs> I mean, I gotta fold it up and it's a little better, but... And it's, you know, it's reversible. But this, the black side is a lot more, uh, I guess, slipperier, where this side is, uh, like, rubberish. But if I fold it up and then fold it again, it's not too bad for my hips. But, uh... Yeah, so earlier I said there wasn't no pockets in the tent, and I was wrong. Um, there's a little pocket back here, which is pretty nice. I mean, it'll fit that, that bottle I did a little review on, or started to do the review on. It'll fit that. Um, and then <coughs> down here is another one. So I guess you're supposed to sleep head foot, head foot, maybe. But, I mean, there's plenty of room for for me and my wife and gear. Because, you know, of course, we have the, vest, the vestibule. Or, I don't know, I'm probably not, probably not saying that right. But, so, I mean, it's a good bit of space out here. Um, you know, next time what I'm going to do is, now that I have an idea about the size of the tent, I'm going to take this tarp and take it out farther. So that way, one side of the, the vestibule will actually have a, bo a complete bottom. Um, the zippers are pretty good. Um, like, I've been playing with them just to see if, you know, if they would get s snagged or anything like that and so far they've worked great they've worked out really good actually um most of them have like this little flap on both sides and this tent doesn't so it really helps out a lot um one thing i don't like is the tent the tent and fly and everything it says it weighs uh, 6.8 pounds which for backpacking if unless you want to spend a lot more money it's kind of hard to go lighter and, and still have room I guess you know see I'm claustrophobic so I can't have them like bivy style tents I just can't do that um, but 
So, I mean, I, I like it. Um, definitely going to spend the money to uh, weatherproof it better. Eventually. Um, there is, right up top here, is a little, a little hook. So that way you can hang your, you know, your flashlight or your gear or whatever. Um, I wish it came with more than just the one. But, I, I'm gonna try to do some research and, like, I started playing around with sewing and, and things like that, so I'm gonna see if maybe I can't sew a little tab on it so I can make, like, some type of net for, like, a gear loft, I guess. <laughs> but, there's our little praying mantis friend, I don't know if you can see him, but. He's all the way up here now. There he goes. He should be eating good because there's so many little littler bugs in between the rain flying tent. Um, <laughs> that's probably why he's here. But uh, I got I ordered these little clips from Wish Wish dot com. They're plastic, you know, they're nothing really uh, spectacular, but Walmart sells the same exact clips for, I think it's like 10 something for 10 of them. So almost a dollar a piece. Um, and I got, I got 10 of them for two bucks, and that's shipping including. Now they don't open that far, that's, that's about it. But what's what's good is, you know, you use them for your for a tent or a tarp. Um, I didn't plan on like doing a review, but uh, I mean you can you can fit you know your 550 paracord in there no problem. And you know even if I didn't have that little uh, that little loop or tag or whatever you want to call it, I would still be able to hang. hang my light you know anywhere which is you know very helpful um i i don't like that the whole tent is this material um because if you if it rains and you don't have a tarp or something underneath of this tent you're gonna get wet uh you know the water's gonna seep through but uh yeah. So I do I do have this side open. Um it's hard to tell. Uh, just because I, I needed more air than with it closed. And it, maybe that's just uh in my head or whatever, but plus when I closed when I closed this side I felt um com too confined, I guess. So but yeah, I, I'm just rambling here. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, I just wanted to show the praying mantis. And um, it did say in the paperwork to uh, seam seal the seams. Which it looks like it already has it done. But um, what I'm going to try to do, I would really like to do it before my camping trip. I would, I wanna uh, get like that spray and do the whole rain fly and the the seams just to be safe. Because if you know, I really hate to be backpacking for multiple days and and get soaked. But thanks for watching, guys and ladies. Um, sorry that this is mostly just me rambling. But uh, I tried to make a video earlier, and it was 20 minutes long, and it told me it was too too long to post. Which, I, I don't know what's wrong with, with my YouTube or whatever. I don't have YouTube Red, so maybe I need to get that in order to post longer than 15 minutes, apparently. But it was actually the unboxing and 
initial setup of this tent so if I can't do it I will I will refilm it tomorrow and make sure it's under 15 minutes but thanks for watching sorry it's so boring but this this tent is the uh, Ozark Trail two-person four-season backpacking tent now it, it said in the paperwork that it was it had aluminum well maybe he's gonna eat you see him up there watching the bugs you never mind you can't see anyway sorry <laughs> it said uh, aluminum uh, tent poles but they're not aluminum they're fiberglass and not very good fiberglass at that all right thanks for watching guys